coming from? Ghana. Did you come with me? The reason I stopped him is because when he opened his passport, he had $100 bills just falling out. What's your reason for travel today, sir? I'm going for a contract issue program. Why would you keep money in your passport? Look, it, it, it. Take it out. All right. Make sure you have all your money, all right? Put your money away. Put your bag up here. How long is your program for, sir? June to September. And it's called? Green Heart Exchange. Green Heart Exchange. What, what kind of work? Housekeeper. Where? Do you know where you're going? I think so. You're going to Tennessee? Yes. How are you getting there from here? I'll book the flight. Show me. Let me see. Who is the person that just Snapchatted you? My cousin. Is that person here? Yes. Where? Don't answer that. Who is that anyway? Same person? Don't. No answer. Before I open this bag, I want to ask you another question. Are you bringing anything into the United States with you for anyone else? No, please. You didn't bring anything for him? No, everything is right. This guy's in an awful rush to talk to you. The way I think is, hey, I'll buy you the ticket, bring this into the United States yeah, for me, or, right, or do this for me. I don't know. Yeah. But that's just the way I look at things. Your flight is in 40 minutes, and yet you're going to have time to go see this person? No, he's, he's, he's taking me there. But you're here? Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. Are you carrying anything on your body yeah. for anyone else? No. This, this bothers me, because how do we know that they didn't go force this guy into coming here? And he might not be going anywhere, right? He looks, I don't want to use the word vulnerable, but it, you know, looks like he doesn't know any better. <laughs> Nothing? Nothing. Who's that? This is my mom. Okay. So I think he he called there and then he's telling me that I'm not taking his spot. So call me in. Okay. After a little while, the caller that appeared on the phone was his mom. So that brought things a little more clarity maybe because he wasn't picking up that guy's calls the guy might have worried and called his mom and said look your son's not answering the phone why don't you try and that sort of brought the inspection down all right yeah you're all set once i was satisfied that there was nothing wrong there i just handed him back his passport and i let him go be careful out there all right all right